Well, good morning. It's 7 o'clock on December the 18th. I just came home from my sleep apnea test, my second one. The first one I had November, the early part of November, and they had called me with the results in November, told me that I had stopped breathing like 113 or 130 times, if I remember correctly. And I'm a really bad snorer, which I already knew. And they said, of course, with losing weight, that would decrease or be non-existent. So I got scheduled for another sleep apnea test with the CPAP machine, which I did today or last night. And that was the best sleep ever. If you're wondering if you should take the sleep apnea test, and I'm sure, I don't know about y'all, but my doctor required it. And my primary care physician had wanted it as well. I'm sorry I look horrible, but it's morning time. I'm not sleepy. And typically, I would go right back to sleep. Um, whenever I wake up around this time for work, I'm always like not wanting to get up. Or I'm right awake and I'm just ready to go. But not because I got a full night's sleep, but because I wasn't sleeping at all. So I might as well get up. So, excuse me. I have, I'm back now. I had the, the one, of course it made me look like an elephant with the trunk. So I had the one that went up my nostrils. That was uncomfortable. It was okay for like the first two hours, like hour and a half. It was really uncomfortable. Then I had to go to the restroom, so she helped me with that. But then when I came back and she said, do you want to try another one? I had a choice of three. So I said, yeah. So there's the one that goes up your nostril, which I didn't really like. The one that just goes over your nose, just your nose parts and mask with the tube. And there's another one that goes over your nose and your mouth. So I was like, I did the one that goes over my nose. That and it sucks air in and you just breathe normal. It's kind of, you had to get used to it. But man, that was the best sleep ever. I loved it. I totally wish I could um, have stayed a little bit longer, but I couldn't. So, it's my boyfriend texting me. Did you make it home? So, um, yeah. Pretty sure it was the best sleep ever. I hate when people just keep talking and I hate when people smack on their videos but I guess it's kind of hard to do hard not to do oh my god so yeah anyway I'm sorry the sleep apnea test with the CPAP machine was the best sleep I've ever gotten she said I was a sleeping beauty of course <laughs> no snoring no stopped breathing no talking and turning I had to do a survey before I fell asleep in a survey when I woke up to see how I slept. I don't know if it was because I was ultra tired anyway, because my family had come in for the holidays. They're going out of, they came from out of town. They're heading to our hometown. So, um, they didn't get here till four o'clock in the morning yesterday. Yeah. So I was like, Ooh, I didn't go to work obviously, but yeah. But no, it was, it was the best sleep ever. I'm sorry if I keep saying that, but it was the absolute best sleep ever. Now, I should hear my results Tuesday. And then um, they will forward that type of machine that they recommend and that I enjoyed. Hopefully, it's one over my nose. And they will tell me how much it cost. My insurance, um, I pay 10% of whatever it is. So... I don't know. Hopefully it's not more than a couple hundred dollars. Well, like, less than a hundred dollars. It's Christmas. So, anyway, I just want to let y'all know how that went. And, um, I don't know if I have anything else scheduled until January. Yeah, January I have another visit with my surgeon, Dr. Graham. Um, it'll be my third visit. Then I'll have three more. So, anyways. You guys have a good rest of the day. Toodles.